What up YouTube? We're having us a nice little quiet drive on the way to Taylorsville Lake this morning. We have been fishing the spawn for crappie there and been fishing at Settlers Trace and around Possum Ridge and around the dam area like that. But uh, today we're going to give a little different different approach. We're going to go down to an area on uh, Taylorsville Lake called uh, Horseshoe Bend. And then we're going to go on down towards Chowning Lane Ramp. That's at the other end of the lake where the Salt River feeds in. <clears throat> so we're going to run down there and we're going to give it a shot down there. And we're going to see if we can't get into something a little different. And we're going to try to do some long line. And we're going to try to long line some jigs, catch these fish coming off the nest, come getting post spawn. So we're going to see what we can do. What's up, everybody? We made it down here to the Horseshoe Bend, Taylorsville Lake. Got set up, long lining some jigs, trying to catch these fish coming off the nest. One of them's already jumped on the old Jinko Mermaid jig. Chartreuse Black Mermaid jig. We'll let that one go. We're picking up a few fish. They still got these little ones, still got bellies on them. There's a fish on the line, folks. That Jinko Big T Mermaid. Dead. Well, no denying that. Fish belly is gone. Female, she did her thing. Something joined the party, folks. I don't think it's a crappie. If it's a crappie, it's a state record. Hopefully it's a hybrid or a white. Putting that Jinko rod to work though. Start putting a smack down on this fish, whatever it is. Oh, I said that, didn't I? So we got a new lure on, folks. We just tied it on. It's called the Jinky Wh Jinko Whirly Bird Jig. what's bid on him. That's our first, that's our first saw guy, folks. That's our first saw guy, folks. Look at that. 
Look at that. We ain't gonna put our teeth in it or put our fingers in it. Folks, we have been in a fish right here for a long time. And he hit that Jinko Big T Whirly Bird. Hit him on that tickle fry at what you might call it. Boy, it's a cool fish. I hope he goes long enough. Look at that thing. That is a prehistoric looking thing. How cool is that? Man, that's cool. He wanted that Jinko lure, you all, that whirly bird. He smacked it. Mm-mm-mm. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Wonder if he's a keeper. We're liking these Jinko Big T Whirly Birds, buddy. I'm telling you, about to switch everything to them. She's got a belly on her. day of fishing we're out here on taylorsville lake we came down here to get away for some people today everybody stays up by the settlers trace by the ramp area and we came down to horseshoe bend try to get away and uh we're trying to hit these post spawn fish i, I truly think it the spawn is over out here every fish i caught today uh the eggs uh, the eggs were out of the bellies so uh them fish is heading off them banks and the beds and going back out to them channels we was trying to cut them off by uh, intersecting them between them banks and the channels and them uh, by, by long lining. Uh, man, it's fun. I really highly suggest y'all get out and try it. <clears throat> um, there's a whole scale out there on the internet you can check out your jig size, how much line you let out behind the boat, and your speed is your three key factors there. And I run eight ounce jigs, about 60 foot behind the boat, about a half mile an hour to a mile an hour. And that raises them and lower them from about seven to fifteen from about seven down to fifteen feet there about half a mile a mile an hour but so that's what we did today we got off them single poles because fish are getting off the beds now so you got to change with them but we had a decent day we didn't slam we didn't get a limit but we got we probably had seven or eight keepers and uh i got a few of them in the box to show and then we also got a saw guy i got my first saw guy i'm pretty pumped about that been chasing one of them fish for a while now but uh, i'll show you these show you these fish and we'll toss them we'll toss them back except the saw guy because he's going home and uh, we're gonna be seeing what that tastes like so there's a decent fish right there that's probably my best fish of the day fish right there goes about 12 and a half 12 three quarter almost 13 inches she she got a, she's flat bellied she doesn't give them all give all her eggs so we'll let her go and we'll do her thing next time we got a couple of, we got a couple of smaller ones. They were still keepers. All whites today, no black fish. Show you Mr. Saw guy here. That's a strong fish. He don't want to, he don't like to be handled. Look at that thing. That is one prehistoric looking fish. If he goes 16 inches and got some nice blades on him, we're going to be getting him home and uh, having a fish fry and cracking the cold beers with him. So look at that fish, man. They're so pretty, the pattern. Been wanting to see one for a long time. There you go. Later.